Hello YouTube, it's been a while for me since I did my last video, maybe 10 months and I'd like to thank my subscribers for hanging in there but now I'd like to do my very first what's in my pack I've got a little trip coming up in a few days weather depending and this is roughly what I'm going to take with me my base weight is not ultra light and I don't think it's particularly heavy either it's 6.22 kilograms uh, obviously that's without food water and fuel so let's get into it this pack is a Osprey Talon 44 litre I got the small medium so this actually comes down to a 42 litre and yeah okay let's start my Z seat must have in the top I have my Lanshan rain kilt really lightweight I think 73 grams something like that my long handled titanium spoon and that's it at the top let me turn this around here in this little pocket which no one seems to know what to do with <laughs> in these Osprey's talons some people are putting knives in there and candy bars I have uh, my mp3 and that just fits in there just perfect so in the front I have MSR gravity filter it is heavy but I like the comfort and the ease of it the ease of it is just so ridiculous that I have to bring this and besides it's the only one I've got at the moment but yeah really good excellent some camp shoes flip flops I picked up the other day 150 grams that's it for the front pocket two water bottles in the other side pocket I have steaks for my tent and top here I have some long spikes I shall only bring two actually I have to sort these out properly and I have some um, aluminium steaks really lightweight that's it for that on the outside I have five millimeter foam pad tears really easy I just stuck a bit of Gorilla tape on there and it's done this is just to give my blow up pad thermo rest a bit more protection on the inside of the lid I have toilet roll and first aid kit I have uh, extra box of matches uh, plasters, tweezers some tablets, bandage, that sort of thing, you know. That's that. On the inside, I have a rain jacket. Had this for donkey's years. This is a trespass jacket. Waterproof, 300 millimeters. Breathable. No, it's not tape seams yes works really well no water gets in through this jacket I think the the company has now gone finished shame they did some good stuff I have my cook kit this is an alcohol alcohol stove excuse me I have um cover 
because it gets uh, soot on the bottom and I don't want it all over my stuff. So inside I have, let me see, the pot is a titanium, MSR titanium um, titan kettle. Very cheap. What a mess. Okay, titan kettle, 850 millimeter. Uh, just a little foil for the base plate so that if the alcohol stove gets too hot it doesn't burn through you know and I have the Stormy Norman stove system so this is um, uh, this is the wind windshield and it just fits over the top like this you've probably seen this lots of times great really weighs nothing nothing at all I have a little plastic cup which I think came off a thermos flask only weighs 35 grams usually everyone in Finland here has cooks uh, like wooden cups but I find they they're just too heavy I have some more matches there and when you buy the Stormy Norman alcohol stove system you also have a choice to buy one of his stoves which is a uh, tonic water slimline tonic water alcohol stove with some it looks like um, fiberglass wadding in there with a mesh on top so it doesn't doesn't spill out and you get a little cup I find 15 millimeters here will do about 600 mils of water boil it so that's that there that's my cook system in the back I have the thermo rest neo air had this donkey shoes as well but it's still going Still going good. One of them. Inside I have a bin liner. I'm not buying one of them fancy pack covers, uh, pack liners. They're probably much better than this obviously, but you know. This is my ditty bag or my you know bits and pieces bag. I have a 10,000 milliamp battery charger and a little bit of spare rope here cord I mean for the tent I have some earphones connector to my mobile uh, my phone <laughs> I have some extra batteries for the GoPro the little cover for the GoPro which um, when you attach the microphone you have to take that cover off and then it becomes non waterproof in this little bag I have earplugs whee, dental floss bamboo cut down toothbrush one extreme to the other here isn't it uh, some toothpaste I just squirt it into a plastic bag that's great you just open it up take a little piece of toothpaste done great I have a little microfiber towel which I actually cut this one in half I think it was from uh, Sea to Summit really great for washing etc my sleep system I have the Hilleberg Tarp 5 excellent really good with that paired with that I have the Hilleberg mesh tent one person mesh tent one this weighs I think it was uh, 410 grams really lightweight 
and this was 320. So just them two, you're getting an excellent, really lightweight sleep system. In here as well, if I can find it, um, I have a launch on two tent and I bought the footprint for it ages ago and this works really well with this tent so that goes in there with that super lightweight kind of balances out the other heavier stuff so stuff I've got like the um, MSR gravity filter <laughs> which I could go even I could go lighter obviously I could get you know but hey this is my clothing. I have the wrap down jacket. Microlite Alpine jacket. That's what that is. Doesn't weigh anything. For if it does get cold, obviously, and you know, in cold nights. I have some sleeping tights, you know, long johns. Really light, thin cotton top t-shirt type thing for sleeping and a buff great and my pillow inflatable pillow by hike nature and last but not least is my sleeping bag cumulus light line 400 and this is the wide one because I hate to be cramped up you know and yeah I could go lighter this is 820 grams but it packs down really small I could get the 300 and lose a couple of grab couple of hundred grams sorry but um you know just for the extra weight and the comfort this is this is just a job really lovely and that's it my bin liner and that's that that is my gear for this upcoming hike and I shall be posting that on YouTube shortly after maybe in a week or two after this video so there you go and that's my first unpacking what's in my bag video <laughs> So, thanks very much for watching. Thanks for hanging in there for 10 months. And hopefully, I'm going to start knocking out some more videos. And I look forward to posting them and getting back on the trail. So, thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.